Now let me talk about one of the favorite, one of my favorite sunscreens that I've been loving these days. It is Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about sunscreens that are also affordable ones under 500 rupees. And I'm not going to share with you just like any sunscreen. The sunscreen that I've chosen for you today have like one of the top notch UV filters and you're gonna be blown away. So do watch it carefully. Experience in collaboration with Amazon. There is this huge sale going on on Amazon starting from seven to check out everything. So you'll be getting all the sunscreen in huge discounts. Do try that and let's start. The very first sunscreen that we're gonna talk about is the C Nor Zinc Protect uh, sunscreen, which is SPF 50 with BA double plus. It is UVA, UVB, and broad spectrum with matte finish. So it is a zinc oxide sunscreen, which also has glycerin in it. It has almond oil in it. It has licorice extract in it, which can help in lightening up your dark spots if you have those. It also has niacinamide, so definitely it is great if you're having a lot of sebum control issues or if you're someone looking for you know that uh, antioxidant property you can be applying this one it has aloe vera it has carrot seed oil it has turmeric extract so basically it is awesome sunscreen it has coconut oil also so i would be like little uh, that wouldn't clog your pores it hasn't done to me i have combination skin but still it feels super moisturizing though it is a sunscreen and with that it is something which does not have any chemical filters so that means if you are having sensitive skin if you are someone who's having mature skin or the one who is having uh, what do you call that the dark spots and pigmentation and you're looking for some kind of sunscreen which can help you in that you could try this one it does not sting around your eyes it is only problem with this one is that that when you apply it you have to give around one to two minutes for it to settle or sometimes maybe even more because i've observed one um, problem with this one is that when you apply makeup over it, it has a filling problem, piling, filling problem. So for that, you have to be a little careful that you have to give a little bit time for it to settle. And talking about the price, this is 100 grams for 495, quite a good quantity for this price. Next sunscreen that I want to talk about is Equalogica. You must have seen many of the ads. Number one, it has titanium dioxide, ethylene, methocinamate, which is kind of a chemical filter, it has phospholipids, which is very good that lipids are great for moisturizing your skin it has coconut water which is hydrating it does have hyaluronic acid in it which is also great it has pa triple plus spf 50 and uh, our only thing is i would say is that if you're having super sensitive skin then you might have a little bit of irritation from ever been zone so be a little wary of that like if you have very very sensitive skin and if you talk about the uh, how it layers onto your skin it is non-sticky it absorbs quickly does not burn around your eyes it is it has a unique water uh, locking technology like when you are applying on to your face make sure that you are applying a very good nice water-based moisturizer and then you layer it up with this one it's going to give you really hydrated and plump skin and one more plus point in this one is that it does even have blue light protection in it i remember like long long back i started talking about blue light technology when i had shared 360 uh, sunscreen and many people were like what are you talking about this and all and today people are talking about blue light technology and i'm like wow <laughs> so that thing is there in this it is it has to have fragrance but they have claimed in that that the fragrance that they have in it is certified like something which can be easily applied onto which does not sensitize your skin so you can definitely give it a try it is very affordable for 3.99 but the quantity is 50 grams you can definitely give it a try next sunscreen that we are trying is from the brand Umugel blinds i hope i'm pronouncing the name correct I hope so. This is UVA plus IR radiation protection. It is SPF 40 with PA triple plus. It is a broad spectrum sunscreen. This is again a hybrid sunscreen. But what I love about this one, the filters that they have here are high grade filters, which are stable, which do not degrade very easily. Like when you apply them, Tinsor Best, which is a hybrid filter for UVA and UVB. It has OMC, which is a chemical sunscreen for UVB. Uh, it is the tin sorb is highly photostable. Then it has Uvinyl A plus, which is chemical sunscreen, which is also a very high grade sunscreen. Uh, then it has Arbutin also. So when you talk about Arbutin, that can be used if you are having pigmentation to help the dark spots, melanin and all. 
so what Arbitin does is we can talk about Arbitin in another one more video if you really want to watch that too. Comment below, we'll talk about like how Elf Arbitin works and how you should be letting it up. Let me talk about the um, consistency of this one. It is non-sticky, it does not have white cast. It absorbs quickly. Now when I talk about the stinging part, it does sting a little bit around the eye area. So you have to be careful. And the price of this one is, uh, how much is the price? I will write it. I'll mention it here. Obviously it's uh, under 500. And give it a try if you're someone who has a lot of dark spots or if you're someone who's uh, very much prone to pigmentation, you can try this. Next sunscreen that we're going to talk about is very, very different. This is a serum sunscreen and I don't know whether you've heard about it or not. Cos IQ Serum SPF 30 sunscreen full spectrum protection. So this one has aloe vera, obviously soothing. It has octoselene, which is OMC. It has glycerin. It has uh, phospholipids, which are skin identical em emollients, which are good. They are hydrating. It has zinc oxide. Uh, one more thing that I found when I was on their website and so I got to know that whatever sunscreen they have used they have used such a technology that it's encapsulated like when you apply it slowly the sunscreen releases its effect and another thing that the organic sunscreen filters that they have used they do not get absorbed into your skin they don't go inside they just sit on top of your skin which is very good because we need that right and it is very hydrating it just absorbs quickly it does not have any white cast I really like it only thing is that it's like quite less of a quantity like it's 30 ml for the price that i'm listing here but it's definitely worth your try like for once you should try it love it i really like this good one the next sunscreen that we are talking about is from the brand Dermaco. This is their 1% Hyaluronic Sunscreen Aqua Gel. It is something which has very good UV filters. So let's talk about the filters that it has. It has zinc oxide, it has titanium dioxide, it has glycerine, it has hyaluronic acid, it has evobenzone, but and it does have oxybenzone. So you have to be a little careful there. Like if you are one of those who is super sensitive to all of these, evobenzone and oxybenzones stay away from this one then maybe you won't like it it does have blue light protection again and it is pa triple four pluses so it's great to be applied out outdoors 50 gram for the price 4.99 and obviously you'll get discount uh, could be a great option for the ones who have really oily skin or the ones who have a lot of sweat you know those people would enjoy this sunscreen and uh, it wouldn't irritate it wouldn't like give you a lot of white cast it wouldn't uh, dry out your skin it would hydrate it and still it won't be sticky so if you are super oily and like looking for a sunscreen definitely you can give it a try another sunscreen that we have to talk about is the fix derma shadow 30 gel this one is gel based sunscreen this is great for oily ones and they have in fact mentioned on the packaging itself that it is great for uh, you know, uh, excess is sweat sweating, it is formulated with micronized zinc and it has ever been zone. So it is also hybrid sunscreen. But uh, when I apply it, it doesn't give a lot of white cast. It just feels very lightweight. It does not have a lot of, you know, stickiness or heaviness to it. So you can give it a try if you are someone looking for super affordable sunscreen because it is like one of the most affordable sunscreens that I have talked about today. Only thing I would feel is that if you have, again, sensitive skin, then your skin won't like it because when I tried it, it didn't suit me. But when my uh, cousin tried it or when my family tried it, they loved it, it was fine for them. Now let me talk about one of the favorite one, my favorite sunscreens that I've been loving these days. It is from the brand Sun Bless. This is uh, something that normally dermatologists recommend, like you get prescribed in a doctor's office. When I see this one or when I talk about the ingredients of this one, it has like advanced filters. So number one it has is OMC, it has titanium dioxide, it has glycerin in it. So basically it is a silicon based sunscreen, but it's not very heavy kind of silicon that it won't let your uh, skin, you know, breathe or you would feel very heavy. It's really, really good. And it, ha it has univoral uh, A, which is a chemical sunscreen, but one of the top notch uh, filters then it has Tinosorb which is one of the best sunscreen filters that you can have then it has Univol T150 which is highly photostable uh, filter that is there in this it is PA triple plus SPF 50 it is affordable it has huge quantity like it is almost 60 grams so more than like any of the others especially for the pigmentation and the dark spots because it has that 
uh, advanced filters that you need so these were all the sunscreens that i wanted to talk about today i hope you found one of those which you would love to try for yourself if you still have any questions do comment below i'll be more than happy to answer that for you or or are there any other sunscreens that you are trying and i should definitely try them do comment below i'll see you in my next video take care bye I'll see you in my next video take care bye